What is going on guys? Welcome to your 7th HTML5 tutorial and in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys about something called negation pseudoclasses. Now a negation pseudoclass is kind of a different kind of way that we can look at CSS because up until this point we've been basically taking elements such as paragraphs and applying styles to them. But with a negation pseudoclass we pretty much say what we want to exclude from the CSS rules sounds weird it is so let me mention this first I basically took everything out of main CSS and in our regular main website I just have five paragraphs that aren't styled at all and it has a parent of mommy so we're basically working with this five boring plain paragraphs so now the first thing I want to do is I want to apply an overall style to the entire website so go ahead and add asterisk and by the way if you forgot an asterisk pretty much means affect every tag whether it's a paragraph a span div affect everything and what I want to do is I pretty much want to turn everything blue so now if we refresh this no matter if it's a paragraph a div whatever it is it's gonna turn everything blue just like that pretty sweet huh so now for the sake of this tutorial let me change a couple of these I want to put the first one and third one in the Sally class. So now 2, 4, and 5 are in the Bucky class. The first and third paragraph are in a Sally class. So go ahead and save that. And now I'm actually going to type out this rule because once I type out the entire, the entire rule and then I talk you guys through it, it's going to be really easy to see because you can pretty much read it from left to right and understand what it's saying so for this I'm gonna color it red and now that it's typed out I want to tell you guys what I did here I pretty much made a negation class and what this is saying is okay color our entire website blue we got that done now everything that is not in the class Bucky color red so if you look what's not in the class Bucky well Sally isn't in the class Bucky and this Sally isn't in the class Bucky so those things we say okay color red so let's go ahead and refresh this and if we do that we can see that these paragraphs indeed got colored red because the only thing in this website that wasn't in the class Bucky was this first and third paragraph so basically in order to use negation pseudo classes we are basically excluding some things from the overall style whatever style it inherited so in order to do that add a colon and type the keyword not now inside the parentheses right after it we wanna say what things do we want not to be affected and for this we wrote anything that's not in the class Bucky and since that's not affected we need to write okay well then what rule do we want to apply to it and we just gave it the attribute of red font coloring so if you look at this one more time we see that we have two paragraphs that are not in the class Bucky and that is why those got styled red or excluded from what rule was inherited so that is a negation pseudo class and in the next tutorial I'm gonna be covering some weird symbols some other rules concerning CSS3. It's going to be awesome. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.